Okay, this is 1236 Midway Road. There's an old uh, church. Well, it doesn't look too old, but there's a church down there. Um, you don't really have any neighbors that you see, per se. There's an old building down at the front that maybe was one time used as a uh, storage building or something. There's or a, maybe a store, you never know, but tons of old storage buildings on the property um which a lot of people will actually buy this wood and use it um for like uh mounds and stuff like that um it's got several old buildings on the property some of them back there which i mean they're all pretty much decrepit um, and I'll also do a drone video and uh, I mean the roof looks good it's a metal roof it's uh, it feels like aluminum siding it's a pretty solid old house I mean there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of settling to be as old as it is There was one mobile home, probably about a quarter of a mile down, but it kind of sits off, so there's not a ton of trailers out here, so that's good. Tons of bees out here, so you'll definitely have to take care of some bees. Back of the house. Looks like somebody's put new windows in it. Within the past um, 15, 20 years. You can definitely use a good pressure washing. in the front door. Here's her foyer. That's got some old drop ceiling and nice high ceilings throughout, but it's just a, a funky old drop ceiling. Um, start in this bedroom. They boarded up some of the fireplaces, but on the ones I was, it looks like they've all been bricked in also. The ones that I've been able to open up and see. I guess this would be maybe like a dining room area. Well, there's a closet, so maybe a bedroom. You can see that one's been bricked up as well. Nice deep closet with another little, I guess that probably goes into the other closet in the bedroom I was just in. Here's your kitchen. This would definitely be a, a complete gut and redo. It goes out to a little sunroom, or whatever you want to call it. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. And they've got a uh, car mirror hanging up there in case you, who knows what for. 
Okay, we'll walk our way around. There's the bathroom. Just some cheap roll out laminate in here. All the flooring that I've been on feels super solid for this age home. It looks like they painted it. There's bedroom number two or three, depending on if you want to consider that one room a uh, bedroom. They put some roll out laminate on here and they glued it down. So that's gonna, I've, I've removed that a couple times. It's gonna be a pain in the rear, but I would definitely redo all these floors. Once again, they put paneling over it, but it's been bricked in. Here's another. I guess this one maybe be your dining room or your formal sitting room or I guess you could use it for about whatever you'd like. These floors are actually in good shape. They just uh, they painted them but they don't look bad. I will go upstairs. It almost looks as if this was all open at one time because I mean why else would they build this here but who knows see once again this funky laminate they put down but nice high ceilings Lots of space in this house for guests, or you could even turn this thing into a bed and breakfast if you really wanted to. There's several of those in this area. That fireplace was... Sorry, I keep getting phone calls. They've put up Mr. Flop Williams. They've put up some uh, type of wood siding in here. But it's all in good shape. Here is yet another bedroom. But at least there's no linoleum glued down these floors, so that's good. Now we will go up in the attic. This is actually the ceiling here, so whenever it's closed, these steps just kind of go to the ceiling, but um, when you open it, and there is a latch on here, so, uh, but I mean, lots of space up here. It seems to be pretty well insulated for this old home, for the age of it. I mean, it's old saw milled lumber. It's all in good shape. The chimneys, that's usually the big issue that I have with a lot of these old homes. And they both appear to be in great shape. It almost looks like this one's been redone at some point in its life. It's in good shape.
So now I am going to work on my drone video and you should have that following this one. Thank you.